Hey there, Gemini. Hope you guys' uh, week has been treating you guys well so far. Appreciate you guys so much. Let's find out what the cards are saying and what's coming out for you guys, for your highest good. What messages are we going to be hit with today? It's going to be for my beautiful sign of Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini. Talk about Gemini, please. Gemini. Gemini. What do they need to know? Separation. Two more. Gemini. Moving on. One more. Gemini. One more. One more. Thank you. Got somebody wearing a mask here. So first off, somebody is acting like they are... They're acting like you moving forward is not phasing them at all, but it's clearly it is. They're wearing a mask. And then we've got someone trying to come back and tempt you. Okay, so somebody's wanting to wear this mask. Somebody didn't expect for you to have so much strength during this separation here. Like, you've taken your power back and you've added a lot more to that. What's the overall energy for Gemini, please? Gemini, overall energy. Thank you. Loneliness, knowing that I'm never alone. See, somebody thought that you was going to be feeling depressed, sad, just looking at life through, like, a hurt Looking at life through like your hurt, your pain, like you you know that you're not alone just because you are by yourself here. Just this person for sure thought that you was going to be that lonely. Like they felt like they were going to have such a, a presence and an impact in your life that you wouldn't have moved on. And they clearly see that you're moving on. In all reality, this other person's lonely. This is someone that doesn't know how to be by themselves. They they rely on other people to make them feel important. You've broken free here, see? you got a lot of freedom here. You possess the power and the free will to create your own happiness, and that's what you're doing. So part of that is having to move away from this situation because it's no longer um, lining up with who you are. This person has, um, they serve their purpose in your life, so now it's time to, to leave this in the past and move forward here. Failure. So... This is somebody that thought that you was going to fall on your face. Like you was going to fail and be so sad and lost without them and you're not. You're looking at the situation has, okay, this situation fell apart. I'm going to learn from this. I'm going to grow and I'm going to change things up. And I know what I want and what I don't want out of this connection and other connections to come towards me. So I'm just going to let this go and just leave it in the past. F's are significant here. First, middle, or last initial here. But this person thought for sure you were not going to fall the, I feel like this other person that I'm picking up on, like their life's falling apart. They're not doing well. And that's part of this mask that they're wearing as well. They're making it seem like they got it all together, but they don't. And see, you're winning. You are a limitless being. You can manifest whatever you desire in the physical reality. And that's exactly what you're doing here. So this person didn't expect for you to, to blow up the way you have here. And they're clearly, uh, they're seeing it. So careful what you wish on people. I always say that, man. It's like you wish for someone's downfall and that other person's not even like wishing nothing on you. Like that's all going to come back for you. Like, you know, I'm different than others. Like I'm picking up on other people that are just like me too. It's like, I'm not going to sit there and wish bad on you and, and want you to fall and not do well. I wish you the best. I hope you succeed and win that life. We're not the same. You wish for my downfall. Well, I pray for you to be a better person and, and get your life together. So, Gemini. Gemini. Move towards the goal. Continue moving towards that goal, whatever that may be for yourself here. For a lot of you, it has to do with this prosperity or just having an abundance of happiness, just being around healthier connections here. You know, um, just getting to know you all over again and just working on, you know, personal and personal improvements, just whatever these goals are, continue to move forward towards these goals here. Let go of your inner thoughts. So when we have um, been around people that try to drag us down and, and try to project their insecurities and doubts on us, you know, we, we tend to absorb that in. Like if you're like me and you absorb people's energies like I do, like I have to be careful being around certain people because I will literally start mimicking their behavior. And it's not that I'm doing it because I'm copying them. It's just I'm absorbing the energy. So I have to learn to get away from certain people because they bring down your energy. And that's clearly what this person has been doing to you. 
but make sure you're watching your thoughts because you are definitely moving towards some goals here for yourself. So if you start getting negative thoughts, make sure you're checking those thoughts and try to redirect those thoughts on something positive for yourself here. This person doesn't like that you have detached and got out of your head. This is someone that really enjoyed mind effing you is what I like to call it. Break through the clouds, find the truth. And that's what you've been doing, like truth-seeking, truth um, just having like a, a, a talk with yourself, like I'm done with this situation, it's not working out, this person doesn't want to meet me halfway, they don't want to see my side of things, and I'm tired of overextending myself to this situation here. So I'm going to pull myself out of these illusions and I'm going towards my truth, and that's what you're doing. And then this person's trying to come towards you with this mask on. Uh, don't let them put you in that, that, that cloudy... Um, where you're clouding your judgment. Don't let this person do that. Career is on the rise. I'm telling you, you got a lot of things going right for you at this time. Don't give up on yourself. Even if you feel like things aren't moving as quick as you want them to, don't give up on yourself, okay? A lot of times we're tested. How, you know, are we going to be patient? Are we going to keep continue going after what we want? Are we going to give up when something doesn't, something happens or we get a little hiccup in the road? Don't give up on yourself, guys. Your career is on the rise here. I'm telling you, this person's watching you rise up while their life is falling apart, man. Gemini. That's why I was just talking about having that faith for yourself. By remaining faithful, no matter what is happening around me, things always turn around in my favor. And that is an awesome mindset to have, guys. Never giving up on yourself, having that faith. Even if things look like they're falling around, falling apart around you, trusting and knowing that keeping moving forward, not looking back, not staying stuck in situations and just, just being that person that you need to for yourself, not depending on anyone, anybody else to give you your happiness. Like this is about you taking control of your life and, and not looking back on the past anymore, guys. It's beautiful. The magic. So you guys could be exploring um, some truths about yourself when it comes to your magical side, your manifestations, what you're able to do here. So just something about just really you could be you could be learning how to do like like I said, manifestations, learning how to do spells and stuff. Let me tell you about spells, guys. You, be careful for you ones that are practicing witchcraft and things like that. Just. Don't be that person to where you want to hex people or just don't do that to yourself. Like I, you know, I'm all for like better improving yourself. It just has, I always say like for to good of all and harm to none. So just do, don't, I, I don't know. I just, my personal opinion, don't get into trying to mess with people's free wills and hex people. It's like most of those people that are doing that is they're pissed off and they're doing it because they're hurt. So don't don't have that karma come wrapping around for you because that's you just just be careful with that, man. That's all I'm gonna say. If you want to explore doing some kind of spells and things, do spells to like pull in prosperity. Do spells to pull in unconditional love for you. Like I said, don't mess with anybody's free will because you don't want that to come back and bite you in the butt, guys. This past person thinks that you're doing this past person thinks that you're doing something to them. You're not. Like I was just saying, like if you even if you do dabble in this type of stuff, it's like doing it for the goodness for you, not trying to to um, mess with others. Now, this person could have tried to do something to you and it failed miserably and it's like ricocheting back to them and they're watching you rise up and they're falling on their face. Like, that's what I was just saying a second ago. You've got to be careful trying to, to mess with things, especially if you're not educated on this stuff. Don't be trying to go and, and uh, heck somebody or, or try to stop somebody's destiny or their money or their, their, their flow in life because you don't want that to smack you back in the face, man. I really am picking up on not everybody, but for somebody out there, like this person's tried to do some kind of little, little stupid spell to try to stop your flow. And it's like, it's hitting them back in the face. One needs to be surrendered for Gemini, please. That's what I'm talking about. People that operate from their ego. So having a big ego can work against you. So this is about dropping our own ego, ego, asking our wounds important questions and just moving forward and not letting our ego control um, 
how we look at life here. Like this person has got a huge ego that's trying to come towards you with this mask on. They're still operating out of this ego. They have not changed. And there's something more about this person's ego getting bruised more. I keep getting that this person's tried to do something to you and it's just backfired on them big time. Surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the vine. Let spirit work its magic for you. So that's that faith card that came out. This is about whatever that goal is you're going towards, like putting that manifestation out there and just doing everything that you can to achieve the goal and then just being with flow, letting everything line up when it's meant to, like your patience will be tested. Like, so just trust the process and know that everything that you want is coming for you. You just got to have that faith. You got to know that miracles do ex exist because they do exist, man. They do. Tell me about separation. I feel like this person's trying to separate you from your abundance, your love. Like, this person's done everything in their power to try to stop you, man. Tell me about separation. Tell me about separation. High priestess. See, look at this, man. Moving in, like, this person didn't expect for you to, like, really get tapped in. Like, this person is um, looking back, watching. Like, this person tried to sneak away like they tried to use this deception they, they very well could have said that you were the one that did something to them but this is all uh smacking them back in the face as well if they tried to smear your name here you have really went in and you really have just figured out who you are like just that magic side to you just really just um going within and just self-improvement and just letting go of all those negative uh limiting um, old belief systems and things like that. That's what you've been working on during this separation. This other person, they wanted to go towards somebody else and go cry wolf and play the victim to somebody else. Something about you moving in in silence here, still be, remaining a mystery. Like this person views you as very mysterious. Like they're trying, that's like that last reading. They're trying to figure out like, who who are you? Who are you? You have gained so much wisdom and so many downloads and just so many beautiful things are are lining their way up for you because you you took that isolation period that you went through and you just really did all that internal work that's beautiful there's something here about this person not being honest whether they're not fully separated from somebody or they're trying to sneak away and try to come back towards you because if there's something here about somebody not being fully honest about a separation here. Somebody's still giving to something else. Uh huh. Somebody, somebody is trying to sneak away, trying to either separate or they fully haven't separated here. But this person, like, like I said earlier, like you, you took the time out to find out who you are and this person went straight to something else and was started giving to something else and let me tell you about people that jump into relationships as soon as you break up you better believe that those two were talking before you guys had your falling out so this is a breadcrumber this is somebody that's one-sided so that's also a part of what you've really come to terms with during this separation is just really figuring out what you're willing to accept and not accept like just having a whole different outlook of um, relationships if you're wanting to open back up to love and things like that. Just no longer accepting the bare minimum for people anymore. Staying single, focusing, stay, and really um, focusing on your independence here. So even if you are opening up for new relationships, um, this is about being able to stay in have your own sense of identity when you're in a relationship with somebody like some you sometimes people when when they get into connections they lose themselves because they they lose their own self their own identity because they're so busy trying to please this other person that they lose themselves so i feel like that's part of um what you have been processing and learning and growing from as well is just not letting anybody um put a put you in the dark and take away you know and take away your light so just you have become very, very um, this growth, self-improvements, your finances, everything has just really been looking up for you. And like I said, this person, this person didn't stay single. They went towards something else. And now this person's looking back and watching you be, be in this um, independent energy 
Um, and it's like they're trying to, it's like they're wanting to tell you that they're, they're separated, they're single, but I don't think it's honest. It's not sincere. They're not being truth. They're, they're not being truthful. So this person's trying to go back and forth, trying to figure out how to come towards you. This person thought for sure that you were going to be drowning in your feelings and just sinking and, and depressed and you fooled them wrong. Like you're getting out of the turbulent water and you're excelling now. And that's your justice. This person's karma is going to have to see you rise up while they're falling. So those scales do balance out. So this person thought it was all fun and games when they left you behind and you had to deal with all of this. And But you took all that pain and you turned it into this beautiful version of yourself today. So beautiful for you guys. I love that. And now this person's trying to figure out how to make something right here with you. They're trying to figure out how to reconcile, but they're not being honest fully. Either they are with someone and they haven't fully separated or there's something about this person. They, they're they trying to backtrack all the things that they've said about you because um, the, like I'm really picking up on somebody that really tried to smear your name and make it look like you were the, the bad guy. Like I say, sometimes we got to be villains in people's stories. I'm good being the villain in your story because you're the clown in mine. So tell you about moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Some of you guys may have thought you was going to get married to this person. Like, like false promises. I'm picking up on somebody that would really tell you all these wonderful things and how your relationship was going to be, you know, everything. And then this person just flipped the narrative and just showed you a whole other side of who they are. Tell me about moving on. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you're leaving behind. Drama, chaos, being put in, in competition. Um, this person could have um, had you, you could have been fighting with third parties. Like uh, this is someone that enjoys people arguing over them because it makes them feel important. It makes them feel like they're, they're valued. Because remember earlier when I was talking about how this person can't be alone. So when people argue over them, oh, it makes them feel like they, it just, it just inflates this ego. Just makes that ego go up that much more. So no longer got any fight left in you. Just dropping all this drama that this person tried to bring towards you and just leaving. And it's like this person tries to, when they know that you're moving on, they try to do something like they could try to start arguments. So this person tries to do things to try to stop you from moving forward. Like, and, it, and it's almost like they know that they can't, they can't, um, so if they, the, the arguing is not going to work with this person anymore. So they're like, I got to figure something else out. Like, so this person's trying to figure out how to come back and offer you stability, loyalty, but it's a page. It's a small offer. Now, some of you guys are moving forward and opening back up to new connections. You could be going out on dates, but just ready to put yourself out there and just also moving forward and really focusing on your finances, opening up for new opportunities in that area as well here. See, this person thought that they defeated you. This person is used to you reacting and, and giving in to their, their drama and you're not doing that. So fives are about significant changes in your life. Like because you've broke free from this, this situation and you're moving forward, like you've got a lot of good changes coming your way. You could be a life path five. You could be seeing fives. But this person didn't realize you putting your sword down like you're just done. Like this person may have thought that they um, won the battle, but you're coming back and winning the whole war. And now they're like, they don't like to feel defeated. They're feeling their egos bruised. See, this person, they was going to, they they gave you the silent treatment and then they took off and they went, jumped into something else here. Now they're looking back and they're seeing you take inspired action here and now they're pissed off. They can't have that. There's another five here. So fives are definitely significant for somebody. But this is about you leaving things out in the cold, leaving the old, an old version of you out in the cold, just wanting better for yourself. If this person walked away, thank, it's a blessing. This person, they did, they did you a favor by walking away from you. So this is about leaving anybody behind that doesn't want to match your energy anymore. And this is what you're moving towards, success. Just going towards goals, going towards better connections, just moving forward and, and just being, just winning at life. And now this person's trying to figure out how to get your attention because they know you're gone. And there's something about you just getting attention from others. You could be in the public eye, but this person sees you getting attention and they're panicking now. Tell me about mask. <laughs> this person, <laughs> this person. You've already ripped the mask up off this person. You see them for who they are. So this person knows that you are an illuminator, that you 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 can pull away and isolate and you really start um, 
dissecting all the pieces together here and like those those light bulbs start coming off and this person knows this like this person thought they were going to pull away from you and that you was going to be sad and miserable and lost but they did you a favor because you started doing all this internal work and it's like you literally shined a light on with who you are and finding out things about yourself and just really being in awe about yourself and this person knows that you shine lights. Like, they're trying to figure out a whole new mask to wear. Like, this person sees all the hard work that you've been doing. This person sees your finances coming up, too. So keep that on in mind. And, and my ladies, even men, some of you guys take care of the children. Man, these income taxes are hitting, guys. So don't be letting these people come back around because you get them income taxes. Don't be one of those people. Don't do it. <laughs> hard work. Just really dedicated to yourself. And now this person wants to try to come back and convince you that they they want to put this work in with you now. Yeah, they want to tell you they want to fully invest into you now. I'm telling you, this person is seeing all all of um this person is seeing all of your the the seeds that you have sown, how everything is coming into fruition for you. Those those finances are on the rise, everything's materializing. They see this. And now this person's trying to figure out how to convince you to invest into them. And somebody is still invested into someone else. I keep getting that. Somebody wants to try to wear this mask, try to lure you back in this connection. And there's somebody that's still connected to someone else. This person sees that you are so focused on yourself, that career, just being a better you, breaking through illusions that this person had to try to put you in or even others that have been in your life. But just as about just staying grounded, staying staying patient with yourself and continuing moving forward and not letting anybody knock you off track. But this person's really going to try to show up and be that person that you they you wanted them to be this whole time. Now they want to be that for you. So this person likes to play the victim. That's what they do. They go run to someone else and then they try to come back for you. So this is somebody that can't believe what they're seeing. Like this person, like, they know that they've hurt you. They they may have knocked you down, but you get back up. That's the thing about us fighters. Like I said, you might have won the uh, the battle, but you ain't going to win the war because somebody that's very resilient, don't even matter how many times you get knocked down, you get back up and you keep fighting. Like, you're a fighter. You're not going to give up on yourself. And this person is like, oh, man. So they know what time it is now when it comes to you. So this person likes to play the victim. See, this person is trying to figure out how to guilt trip you, like anything that they can to cause friction to keep you from moving forward. Because I feel like they've been trying to do things to you, like, and it's like nothing that they've been trying to send. It's like something about magic I keep getting with this read, guys. I really feel like this person was trying to do something to stop your flow, and it's just not working, man. So this person likes to wear a mask when they're in a relationship, too. They make people think... They, like, they have the community fooled. Like, people think that this person's a very nice, um, compassionate, empathetic person. But this person's got two sides to them. You've seen the dark side of this person. And then when you see who they are and you call them out on their bullcrap, that's when they'll they'll run away, they'll ghost you, and then they're they're running to another person and and telling all the that other person all that stuff that that you did to them when it was actually them doing it to you. So... So this person's trying to figure out how to get you in this connection here. Children could be significant. There's something here about um, somebody trying to come back because of the kids. Don't, you know, when you've got kids with people and it's not a healthy connection, you're just going to bleed that onto your kids because that's why it's called curse breaking. If you let your kids see that growing up they're automatically going to think that that's how a love relationship works and that's not the case guys you got to protect our kids here there could be kids that you don't know about on the outside of this connection here there's something about this person trying to they really want to make you they want to make it seem like they they have changed things up like you have since you guys have had this um falling out here this person's still operating in their old ways here See, this person's very set and stubborn. They have not changed. This is somebody that's so pissed off that you are building an empire. Like, you're just really, you know, just, you're just really on the rise. And this person's pissed. Like, this is someone that wants to try to come in here and try to take control of the situation with you still. Tell me about temptation. This person's trying to figure out a way to tempt you. This is somebody that's tempted by everybody. Like, this person's got a wandering eye. Tell me about temptation. Temptation. 
of swords, man. I'm telling you. This is somebody that wants to try to come in here and say and do anything to win at all costs. And I'm telling you, this is a playa playa. This is somebody that doesn't look at relationships as you do. They're they're non-committal. They they're reckless. They're impulsive. They're they go back and forth. They jump from person to person to person. So this is someone that's thinking, they look at the card, like how he's looking over at this. Like this is like how dare you take off and take inspired action and move forward and just be better. Like this person cannot believe what they're seeing. So this is someone that likes to come in and play games. Like they, they give the silent treatment to gain control. This is someone that's very manipulative. They're very slick with their words. Like they're smart. I'll give them that, but they use it for wrong. Like they really know how to twist and bend words here. And now this person is feeling defeated because they're seeing you take off. And now they're trying to figure out how to lure you back in here with this temptation here and this mask. See this person, this is somebody here that, they don't like the way that you're detaching and leaving them out in the cold and not looking back anymore. So this person is trying to figure out how to, you know, come back in from the cold. This person could be having money issues because they're not doing well here. So this person's trying to figure out a way to get your attention. Like they want victory over you. So, and there's something here about this person trying to get in the way of anything because I'm picking up on some that want love and some of you don't. Some of you guys are still focused on yourself right now, but this person wants to try to get in the way of anybody trying to, you know, trying to come towards you and give you attention. Like this person wants to knock that out of the way. So this person is really trying, like they're seeing something about your life. They're seeing how your life is turning out and just how you've got all these beautiful things lining up for you. And they're really like, this person's like really focused on what you've got here because they're seeing that here. They see your good news. And they're, it's like a very flirty energy with this person. This is somebody that tries to flirt their way back in. You know, trying to make it seem like nothing happened at all between the two of you. It's like timing with this person. They take off. they, And then they just try to resurface back into your life. Especially when they know that you're moving forward. So this person's hearing about your good news. And they want to try to get in the way of anything, any new love, if that's what you're wanting for yourself. They want to get in the way of that. I've got Pisces. I've got air, fire, earth, Virgo, earth, 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 air, and uh, fire here. My only major arcana that I have out is my Virgo card, which is about you um, hermiting and, and learning to isolate and pull away from people. And then uh, the high priestess is also about you getting tapped into that magical side. It just really pulling back layers of yourself and just really just rediscovering who you are here. And then you're also being advised to, to keep your silence. That's two cards of strongly like pulling away and, and like giving this person nothing. Like if you have the luxury to stay quiet, if there's no children involved, stay quiet. Your silence is your best weapon with this type of person. So temptation, trying to figure out how to tempt you. I'm telling you, this is a very unsettled person. This person's pissed off hearing about your life and there's somebody else here i keep getting this person's arguing with someone else like there's a third party that knows that this person's still interested in you and this person tried to to really do some things to make you fail and they keep hearing that you you keep overcoming like you keep winning like you they they can't they can't stop you you can't be stopped your dreams are coming true and this person's triggered by it Something about your dreams is significant here. Paying attention to your dreams at this time here. So this person's contemplating. This person could have dreamed. This person could have had some kind of dream about you. About you really um, stepping into this this career. And just like being in the spot. There's something about being in the spotlight. And just you being on the rise. Like this person's hurt. Like, like, like there's a dream like this person's had about you. And now they're contemplating. Trying to figure out how they can get back into your life again. So this person wants to try to use sex. Like this is someone that's very, like they have a very lustful energy. This is someone that's very ego driven. This is somebody that's trying to figure out how to pull you back in here. And they, it's like they want to try to use sex to try to keep you, to keep you from moving. And if you are talking to somebody new, this person wants to try to have a sexual encounter with you so they can cause drama. Gemini. Voodoo doll. I'm telling you, there's something that this person's tried to do to try to stop you. Like, this is somebody that done messed around with something and they don't even know what the hell they were doing here. Manipulation, scheming and controlling, bad influences. That's this past person trying to come back. Man, this is a very jealous person. Tell me more. 
Beauty and the Beast. Major differences. You could feel like your love life is cursed. You could have had a lot of failed relationships like I have, guys. It's it's okay. We just don't let that put a bad taste in your mouth when it comes to love. Um, just look at it as learning and growing from those connections and moving forward. And when you don't learn lessons, you will literally find another person and you will literally battle that same demon in that same person if you aren't learning from the other one. So major differences between the two of you. Following the signs, following your, um, you could be seeing repeated numbers, you could be seeing um, animals, you could be hearing songs, just paying attention to those. There are messages in that. And then this card says you are not alone. With that loneliness card that came out, you know that you're not alone. You've got your spiritual team here with you. And, there, and you also know that things don't happen by accident or coincidence. Everything happens for a reason. New people that step into your life, people leaving your life. It's all part of the bigger plan, guys. That's why you got to lead by faith. Tell me more. Lady Venus. So something here about your Venus sign. Beauty and grace. Romantic sexual love. Exploring your desires. So a lot of you guys are just really moving forward and just discovering who you are and discovering what you want in a... Um, as far as like a, a soulmate, and some of you guys don't want love at all, that's okay, but that's like just redirecting and just focusing back on you and falling in love with yourself all over again. You're beautiful. You're graceful. There's something about the, like I'm picking up on somebody very attractive, somebody that definitely gets stared at a lot, somebody that gets attention, and like this person's jealous of that. I feel like that's one thing that you guys may have argued about the way that you're able to the way that you step into the room and like everybody just starts staring at you because it's your energy it's like you have this light and this this beautiful on the inside and out and you know how to people gravitate towards you bottled up so this person doesn't like how calm and collected you are this person um doesn't like how you hold back and like this person was purposely doing things to hold back trying to gain control over you by holding back like this person, like they would try to, they would sit and do things to you. And then when you would like, like, if you're like me, where like my anger, man, like I can sit there and bottle up my emotions and then it can be like one little thing. And I like, like I blow up. Like, it's like this person would purposely do things and then to get you angry. And then when you, when you blew up and you had your moment, like they would like, they would stay calm and make it seem like you were the one that was, um, you, you were the one that had like, um, issues like with your anger and things like that that's what this person was trying to do like purposely like pointing the finger saying look and look how crazy he or she is like they purposely do that i keep getting something here about somebody having something trying to trying to stop your flow man <laughs> good luck rising star see that's what i'm talking about you keep rising no matter what you're you're this is what you're meant to do so don't let anybody take this from you recognition a favorable outcome a joyful transformation that you have went through. Proper offering. Receiving an offer. So this person's trying to figure out. Because I feel like they ain't got nothing to offer you. So they're trying to figure out. They're trying to come towards you and make it seem like they got their life together like you do here. There's something about you now. Um, it is now time for you to start receiving here. Because you have been putting a lot of... Um, been contributing to um, evolving and growing and helping raise in the vibration of the planet and you are now starting you're going to start receiving these beautiful offers offers because you've been doing your work here guys a long list high maintenance unrealistic high standards never satisfied hard to please so this past person could have said that you were high maintenance that you had these high standards that you never never you they could never please you but that's what this person likes to run to do. They like to run and tell other people what what they what they did to you is what um, you were doing to them. Like I feel like in reality, this other person's got these unrealistic standards, and they are hard to please. Nothing that you say or do is good enough for them. And let me tell you about people that want to sit there and say that you're too much to handle. Usually when people are saying that, it's because you've got boundaries and you're putting your foot down. So that's when people will start calling you selfish and styling, telling you that you think you're better than them. That's their own protection of themselves. So don't let this person get in the way of your... You, have, you love yourself. So of course you're going to put yourself on a pedestal. That's what we're supposed to do. Heavy burden, responsibilities, carrying old baggage, clinging to an unhealthy relationship. See, this person wants you to cling on to them. And I feel like this person's still clinging on to something else as well. 
you're no longer carrying around old baggage and that's this past person like wants to try to to come in here and dump all this baggage on you and they've got there's more baggage here since you guys had a disconnect here this is a, an unresponsible person like if you have kids with this person this is the type of person that'll just there's they don't even care if there's kids involved they'll turn their back and they'll go they'll go be a better parent to the person that they're that they're love bombing I'm going to call it they'll they'll take care of those kids better than they will their own so that's that's not cool creeping doubt hesitation see this is someone that is very pessimistic this is somebody that that is this is someone that wants you to have this this unrelenting doubt about yourself this is someone that's hesitant trying to figure out how to come towards you because every angle that they try they ain't gonna get nothing past you Radiant sun, your confidence, success, enthusiasm, optimism, fulfillment. See, that's what you are. This other energy's not. This is someone that wanted you to be in the same doubting energy as, as they are because you are the confident. You are the radiant sun here. And this is, and look at, she's got that bottle, like, and you've got to now have control of your emotions when it comes to this situation or other situations in your life. You're like coming back strong, letting that beautiful light of yours shine and just, just really like a sassy energy I'm picking up on you. Very sassy. Very sassy. Like, I, you know, I got my I got my confidence back. I got my power back. And ain't nobody taking it from me again. Beautiful energy to have. Gemini. Gemini. Queen rising. King, queen rising. Stepping into your power. Stepping into the spotlight. Just really tapping into who you're meant to be what you're meant to be and who you're meant to be at this time. Like you're on the rise up and this person can't stop you. This is someone holding a grudge. This person would prefer you holding a grudge. So if you do have some kind of resentment, try to let it go because that blocks the flow of love, guys. I used to be the biggest grudge holder. I don't let people have that power over me anymore. But this is someone that's really, really resentful. And there's somebody else here. I keep getting a third party energy that is also looking at you with like their, their, they're, it's like they're holding a grudge over you because, first off, this person said a bunch of, of uh, foul things about you that isn't true. And they also, if there's um, a third party here, like they're also holding a grudge because they know that this past person still has a, a can't. They have this flame lit for you still. They're trying to come back. That's another reason they got a grudge. Now, some of you guys, if this person is still um, with somebody else, like there's like third party energy is trying to impersonate you. I feel like this past person could have very well be trying to impersonate like the improvements and the goals and the things that you're doing in your life. Like this, this past person, they copy everything. They don't have their own sense of identity. So they'll copy your mannerisms. They'll copy things that you say. If you've got little jokes and things that you say, like they'll, they'll copy it and act like it was their joke the whole time. So, and just, you've got some people around you that just want to copy you in general. So just make sure that you're using your discernment with that. Tell me more. Looking you up. You've got people looking you up. You definitely got this past person looking you up. And there's a third party here that's looking you up too. Studying you. Trying to get info on you. See, somebody's broke. Somebody's not doing well. Somebody is failing. Like, they're broke. They're they're um, stepping into their misfortune while you are on the come up here. Tell me more. Yeah, you're hustling. You're making it rain. Focusing on your career. Just money. Money coming to you effortlessly. Beautiful energy. Tell me more. So this person's really focused on your finances. This person could have, this person could owe you money so they could, especially if you have kids, there's something here about this person trying to, you know, come towards you and offer, offer something here with finances. There's something about this person really heavily focused on your finances. And I keep, I keep getting income tax for somebody here. So there's definitely someone here that's got kids with somebody and this person's like trying to get back in your good graces because they, they know that you're getting this payout with your income taxes here. So this person's really focused on your finances and they're trying to come back in here and hook you, trying to reel you back in with these emotions, these feelings, trying to manipulate you, wearing this mask. Tell me more. See, this person thinks that sex fixes everything. This is someone that's still, there's still someone else here. Some of you guys could be the secret lover because this person's still entertaining somebody else. And if you are opening up for new options, this past person's trying to figure out how to create drama by coming in here and having sex with you. See, this past person, they've tried to do some scarcity tactics to try to keep you, um, 
keep you isolated, keep you feeling down, stop you from imp and growing and improving as a person. And you totally moved your 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 piece in a different area, like checkmate. So you done checkmated this person. So this is someone that's got fake accounts. I feel like this person has some kind of apps in their phone that they use to talk to other people. Because this is a very, um, somebody that is not, they're very non-committal. So looking you up, like you got a lot of people looking you up here. Same stuff, different day with this past energy. And this is someone that hates on your spirituality. They hate on the light. They hate on the magic. They hate on the power that you have. Because this person has tried to do some things to try to knock you off of your destiny here. Ooh. Gemini. Obsession. This is someone that's got an obsession with you. This person could suffer from addictions. This is somebody that wants you to look at them in like an adoring light again. And some of you guys have a new love here. New eyes. Like this people are very um, infatuated with you. Like it's, it's, some of it's healthy, some of it's not healthy. That's where you're going to have to use your discernment here. Tell me more. See, the past wants to try to come back and apologize. They they want to they want your forgiveness. I always say that forgiveness is for you, so you can move forward and not hold on to any hate in your heart anymore. Um, just because you accept somebody's apology doesn't mean that you have to take them back. So I feel like this person, if they apologize, then they'll get pissed off because you're not, you, they're not getting what they want. Like they think if they apologize, like they'll like you'll just come running back to them. There's something here about this person only wanting to apologize for a certain thing. There's still more things about this person that is that they're not being honest about, but they're going to apologize for that one thing that they that they think that they'll be able to pull you back in. It's a very shallow person, hollow, empty, bored on the they're just bored. This is someone that gets bored very easily. That's why they're tempted by others and they're still doing this. This is a very superficial energy that goes after people whether you make them look good on their arm or you provide something for them but this is a user this is someone that uses people up and then when they are not when they've got everything out of them or you're no longer um adding value to their life they'll toss you to the side man this person went towards another shallow connection while you stepped into your healing releasing purifying cleansing yourself so you understood the assignment during this separation beautiful now creating a distance. Some of you guys could be planning on moving. Some of you guys have moved. Some of you guys could be at a physical distance from this person. But just creating distance. Creating an emotional distance with this person. No longer letting this person put um, blockages in your path. Because this person's been trying to do everything in their power to stop you from moving forward. You can't be stopped. So there's something about time with this person. And I feel like you gave this person enough time to get them some act right. And they clearly didn't want to change. So this is why closing out this cycle and moving forward. Time's up. And now this person's panicking. You're now in your ecstasy. You're headed for your exciting times. Ready for good times. Ready just for good things. Ready for goodness. Just in your ecstasy. And this person's coming back with this mask on. They over-exaggerate everything. So this person could try to um, blame someone else for their... like. They'll still apologize, but they'll try to shift the, the the focus off of them and they'll try to make it seem like um, someone else caused them to make the choices that they made. But you need to remember, like, this person had a whole other story that they told someone else about you too, so keep that in mind. But this is someone that wears this mask. But you're more aware now. See, you you know the, the importance. You know the value that you have. You know what you bring to the table. A lot of you guys, you are the table. So... This person doesn't realize how in-depth that you are. Like, you have um, grown. Like, you have really, during that separation like period, like, this is really where you dove deep and just really started figuring out who you are, what you want, what you're not going to tolerate anymore. That's beautiful. So, this person was able to confuse you before, but they are not going to be able to now. Like, this is someone that wants you to be unsure of yourself. They wanted you to... They wanted you to feel like you weren't going to be able to move on and do better without them. And you are clearly showing them other. So. Gemini. Gemini. That's too much. Gemini. Trust the weight. You are being prepared for your blessings. In order to receive, you have to be ready to receive. Things you are going through now are not random. Trust the flow of the universe. 
trust it. That's why that faith card came out. Just make sure that you're you're open and ready to receive all these beautiful things wanting to come your way. Focus your mindset on what you can control instead of what you can't. The world is your oyster. Elevate your thought patterns so that you can attract abundance into your life. You are what you believe. And that's that card that came out of let go of your inner thoughts. So really focusing on your mind control and just, you know, just really elevating and just closing out old patterns and old self-belief systems and things like that. So that's why it's very important not to let this person around you as well because this is someone that likes to inject your, your mind with fear and doubt. They don't want you to move forward. So I wouldn't trust this apology. Like this person is like, they're not doing good at all. But I feel like this person tried to do something to stop you. So this, maybe this person will change their ways and learn a, a very valuable lesson off of this. And that's, that's their free will. All right, my beautiful Gemini, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on uh, Sunday. We'll do it all over again, guys. Appreciate you guys so much. Light and love to you guys. See you guys Sunday.